growing up, how much did SPM have a have a effect on you? Oh man, big effect. Uh, SPM is is the goat. You know, he's gonna forever be the goat. So, man, one time I'm not even thinking nothing of it, and Carly is. I'm super cool with Carly. So all of a sudden, Carly's like, "Hey, uh, easy." Are you busy? I'm like, no, I'm, I'm chilling. Everything good? She's like, yeah. My dad's on the other line. I've never talked to this man before in my life. Boom, puts me on the phone. Hey, what's up, Young Easy, man? I want you to come on down on a day of unity, man. And, you know, ooh, I'm a big fan of you. You know, I had recorded the conversation. And that was just mind-blowing to me. That was just like SPM. Like, come on. Like, that dude right there broke the door for so many Mexicans mm -hmm. to be able to just feel like they can do it. Like I was just saying that on an interview, I felt like we didn't have a lot of superheroes growing up, you know, being Mexican. Like there was nobody to really look up to. So SPM being from South Park and, and you know, getting the love that he did from the blacks and the Mexicans, like they they loved SPM. Like, and that's what I try to do. I, you know, black and brown all the way. That's just me. You know, that's why when I came in the game, I've collabed with everybody I did. I went for the OGs first because I pay my homage. That's what I feel I got to do with the OGs. Like, I'm going for the ESGs, the J-Dogs, and all them first. Then work my way down to the youngsters, you know what I'm saying? But, mm -hmm. like, because I'm young, too. I'm only 26, but I just felt like I wanted to collab with the ones that paved the way. So, SPM definitely had a super big influence on me even feeling like it's possible. So, you know, salute yeah. SPM. You know what he did? Back in those times when there was no social media, there was no YouTube, there was no you you know, making money. Shows. Yeah, you had to go out there and, and sell CDs at the trunk. Mm -hmm. And uh, he did the same thing. Either. He, I remember him going to car shows, and he would make his own little scaffold by his booth, and he would start rapping. And then they had to tell him, "Hey, man, you can't do that no more because everybody's coming to see you." And the main stage yeah. is is okay, but everybody's coming to see what who's this Mexican out here on the scaffold? Exactly. Coming at car shows, he like that's and he kind of and that was before people were paying <laughs> to get on stage. And he was doing building scaffolds at the yeah, car shows. Yeah, like, yeah. This is a car show back in the day. He would put scaffolds up and go yeah, out there before, man. man. Ooh wee, elevating, elevating, man. Mm -hmm. Shout out to SPM, man. He he actually bought my daughter. Her crib set and the and all this stuff for her bedroom when, when she was born, man. So That's he like, awesome. Hey, He's like, man, you, you know, your daughter about to be born. Yeah, you man. Let's go to the furniture store, man. I'm gonna give you some. I'm, gonna, I'm like, nah, it's all good. No, man, I want to. I want to buy the crib. I want to buy the dress. So he bought all that stuff, man. So my That's daughter, cool. you know, she's older now. She's she telling everybody all the time. Daughter, yeah, she tells him. He's like, hey, uh, <laughs> SPM bought my uh, my crib and all that when when I was a baby. So. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, awesome. you and and you you tell somebody who SPM is, you get ten different answers, and all of them are the same. Man, he was over there in the restroom selling CDs, or he was out there pulling over at the gas station and and and, and going out there and passing. Hey, you need to hear this. You need like that's what I'm saying. Like SPM believed in himself before, like he said, you know, believed in myself. No one else saw my magic. You know, like that's what I feel like. I, it I, was like you know, I, you gotta if you know you got that. Go I was working on a, on a Tejano radio station back in the day, and he had just was coming out, and he came into the intro for me, right? And I said, he's like, man, but it's, it's Tejano stations, man. I'm like, man, just do your intro. He did, and we had a conversation. He said, man, I'm trying to find somebody to, you know, to invest in me. I mean, so his brother, Duty, ended up coming out and, and investing in it. And sure enough, a little after that, blew up. And that's why we always kept it cool. And, uh, you know, I was hurt whenever all, everything went down, and... and uh, Free SPM, hopefully he comes out pretty soon. But man, he paid away for a lot of man, people. Man, so many it's people. Not even, it's, I mean, just to think about what he went through with, with when he was offered money from Universal back in the day, he turned it down. Like, nah, I, I'm making more money on my own. Yeah. Be surprised, like leaving Houston and going towards the West area. Like, I mean, I've, I I work with Carolyn Rodriguez and and shout out to SPM and Carolyn for their being. They were also padrinos and my daughter's kids and you know. Mm -hmm. But going that way and seeing the look on the fans' faces and, and just knowing what he did for our entire culture, mm -hmm. it's like mind, mind blowing. Yep. Like it's, it's like, it's not even, it's indescribable how much these people yeah, love did, him. Man. Yeah, for real. Because like man. he said, we don't have any- We don't, we don't have nobody have to look up to, I feel we like. We have no leadership right now what, other than- what do, you, what do you think, just in your mind, what do you think if SPN would have been here the whole time, how would he have changed the game from what he, when he, when he, got locked up, if you would not ever have gone to that, what do you think would have happened? Who would it have been like right now? Who Man, I'm, I'm going to tell you like this. It's kind of like we're already seeing what he's going to do, and he ain't even out yet because I'm going to tell you one thing I've learned from him that taught me because I wasn't getting booked. 
And that's what made me start realizing, man, I'm going to throw my own shows, bring my own crowds to start realizing mm -hmm. so they could start catching on. Then after, right after I started throwing my own shows, started getting booked left and right. But that was when I first did the first day of Unity. I went out there with ESG. He invited me. And it just let me see that after 18 or 20 years, however long he's been locked up for, he has so many people mm -hmm. coming out still. And then Slim Thugs and all them, they're coming out there to the shows. And then it just realized, that, let me know, I want to be the one that does the booking. That's what I learned from SPM. I want to be the one that does the booking and bring these artists out because the amount that. of crowds that he's doing and being locked up so long, it's already showing what he's fixing to do when he gets out because to this day he has enormous crowds that is just like nobody even in the free world can do as yeah. many people as he's bringing and he's locked up so i can just only imagine he's already doing it right now being locked up so when he gets out mark my words it's gonna be huge